Pennsylvania lawmakers say they want to improve firefighter training across the Commonwealth. Thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Evan Forrester. The state continues to deal with a shortage of firefighters. and Lawmakers are now taking new approaches in order to get more volunteers to sign up. Fox 43's Harry Lee reports on a bill that would lower the minimum age to become a firefighter. In 1975, Pennsylvania had about 360,000 volunteer firefighters, according to the National Volunteer Fire Council. Now it's down to about 36,000, a 90 percent drop. I kind of got my community service start uh, working for Jefferson Volunteer Fire Company as a kid, as a junior firefighter. So that's kind of what my passion is for, for juniors. You know, that, that's why I've kind of got that interest. State Representative Torin Ecker introduced a bill aimed at building a pipeline of young volunteer firefighters. Right now, kids as young as 14 can sign up for junior firefighting programs, but are mostly limited to training, basic first aid, and cleanup. They can't take all the courses needed to become a firefighter until they're 18. But many high school volunteers have less time to train after graduating. Off to college and able to drive and, and all the other things that come along with life as you get older. Uh, so the benefit here would be um, able to get the training at a younger age uh, and be ready to go. Fire chiefs say just one extra year for training would make a difference. If they would lower the age to 17, that would help a lot because when they're going through the mods, they can uh, complete the whole course and be ready. Both chiefs and the parents of junior firefighters would have to give permission for advanced training. Giving younger people a little additional responsibility will help them mature a little bit better or quicker. Um, you know, they understand the importance of stuff. The bill passed unanimously in the House, while a similar bill passed in the Senate. The legislature must now choose one bill to send to the governor to be signed. Harry Lee, Fox 43 News.